Welcome back to another adventure on my YouTube channel. This time we're exploring the beautiful province of Songkla in Thailand. Eat dim sum, visit the central mosque of Songkla, hike to the Koyo mountain viewpoint and discover the beautiful island of Koyo. So we're going to eat dim sum in the morning. But first of all we feed the dog. Oh, don't run away. Buddy, he's scared about me. He's scared. Now, baby, you have to put more food. <laughs> Where are we going now? We're going to the dim sum. I'm a big cat lover and have to stop every time I see one. After a short walk, we arrived at the dim sum restaurant, which was already full of people at 8 in the morning. At Kuk Chai Dim Sum Restaurant, you can order Bak Hu Tea or choose different varieties of dim sum in small portions such as seafood, pork, chicken, vegetable, tofu, or steamed bun. After you finish choosing, you can give your trays of chosen to the staff. They will add a paper with your table number on the tray and steam dim sum, then serve it to your table. Usually, there are a lot of people coming here for breakfast. If you want to try dim sum here, please make sure you come here as early as possible. Ice black coffee. What drink you order? After 20 minutes of waiting, our dim sum are coming to the table. Wow. Cup and cup. We have a lot of different small meals, huh? This tofu. This is like shrimp. Fish. I don't know. Mushroom with pork. Maybe how to eat uh, this dim sum? Put it out there or eat it out from here? I take one. I'm not really familiar one. to eat dim sum, so I asked beer for advice. After we finish breakfast, we have decided to go to Koh Hong Mountain Viewpoint. As we did some research, many people suggested that it's must-go place in Hat Yai, where you can see top view of the city. So let's see, how is it up there? We are going to the Koh Hong Mountain View Temple. And before there is a Chinese temple. This temple had really impressive Buddha statues. There are two options to access the viewpoint. Either you can take the cable car near the municipal park or drive the car motorbike to the parking top near Guan Yin statue and walk up to the stair hill through Dragon Gate like us. Almost made it to the top of the mountain temple here in Hadiai. There's also a big Buddha statue. Let me show you some of my drone shots of Koh Hong Mountain Viewpoint. And even you don't have the drone, you can still see the panoramic views of Hadiai City from the viewpoint anyway. Enjoy! From here you can see already the mosque of Hadiai, the central mosque. It's one of the famous one here in Thailand. Beer spotted a green tree snake and I was not sure if the snake or her was running faster. After spending some time at Koh Hong Mountain Viewpoint, we decided to leave and we are going to Koh Yo, which is a small island in the middle of Southern Songkla Lake. Most of the area in Koh Yo is mountains and hills, with 10 to 150 meters high. Also today, we will have lunch at one of Koh Yo Viewpoint. Let's go! Is it like a good mountain cafe? It also got your top view as well. So it's one of the viewpoints in Koyo Songkra, so we are in Songkra province. Good Mountain Cafe, located in Kao Kuti Koyo, is one of the attraction places that you can enjoy the panoramic view of Songkla province. It took us 30 minutes to ride a motorbike from Koh Hong Mountain Viewpoint to get here. The road is in a good condition for the first part and it's quite steep but not too difficult to ride. The cafe is lovely and cozy with cool breeze but it can be a little windy sometimes too. This is the menu and this is the view. Koyo is a small island in the Songkla Lake that has recently become an important tourist attraction. Geographically, the island's coastal plain is suitable for agriculture, such as a special kind of jackfruit called champada. Another famous island product is its hand woven fabric. In Koyo? In Koyo. Koyo. That is like Korean. I just ordered some teriyaki fried chicken with rice and it's coming in a bowl because there's a lot of wind. Baby, where's your food? My food is like blown away. Blown away from yeah. the wind for the fish down there. Oh. 
<laughs> BS food is also here. It's not very good, but be careful with the wind, baby. B and I have already finished our lunch and we are heading to the Taj Mahal of Thailand. So excited! If you find yourself in Hadiai, make sure to pay this mosque a visit. Hello. It is situated along the highway connecting Hatyai city center and Songkla city. We advise arranging for transport to and from the mosque so as to avoid a long wait for a ride back after you visit. Baby, why they don't let you go in the mosque? Because yeah, actually you wear, you wear long. Yeah, but I have to cover my hair, cover my arm, cover everything. That's like, you know, Muslim culture. You can't go like it even though you can go. But in the, in the Buddhist temple you can go in with only long temple. clothes. You can go with like this shirt, so, not for pants, but, yeah. but, but sometimes in some Buddhist temple, if the pants is too tight, like mm. skinny jeans, you also can't get in. Let's check how the mosque is looking from inside. Oh wow. The mosque's floor was made from marble. Oh, that's very beautiful here. I think it's the first mosque I've been in my life. The central mosque of Songkla was built in 2001 with the decoration of elegant architectural and art styles. The place has become one of the most famous worship centers in Hadiai. When you first arrive at the mosque, you will be amazed by the peaceful surroundings and quiet environment. Sooner you will realize why the locals named it the Taj Mahal of Thailand. This large open mosque is always ready to welcome visitors and faithful alike. It shows that diversity can coexist in peace without conflict, so why not visit this majestic place? On the next day, we travel to our last destination in Songkla before we are heading to Patalung province. This location is 90 kilometers away from Hat Yai with one and a half hour ride with motorbike. Maybe we found something interesting there. Let's go! Where are we? What's up guys? We just left Hat Yai and we are on the way to Patalung and we are here at the Koyai Grand Canyon. There are a lot of swan boat but they look pretty old and not really safe anymore. When we arrived at Koyai Grand Canyon, we did notice that everything seems quiet. Water park is closed for all activities, but the coffee shop and accommodation near the Grand Canyon's lake are still open, as we see some of travelers there. However, we decided to take a short break here for some drink and flying drone before continue driving to Patalung province. So here's the drone shot around Koyai Grand Canyon. We hope you enjoy the bird eye views. Today we really enjoyed driving because the road from Koyai Grand Canyon to Patalung is surrounded by million trees alongside with Songkla Upper Lake. We just stopped by the beach on the way to Patalung and this place is called uh, Sea Beach. Sea Beach Coffee Bar and Restaurant and it's very nice. They built everything new here with a lot of bamboo and uh, look great. It is very windy here. How is the coffee? Good. Oh, good. actually very, very good. And I just got a soda. Next week, we will show you the magical Talenoi Lake in Patalung province. Thanks for watching. Please like, subscribe and hit the bell that you don't miss out a new adventure on my YouTube channel.